Okay, welcome back to part two of the uh, Ninth Gate title sequence. This week we're going to get into finishing up our titles. Right now we have we have this set up. We have the basic animation of the text, and we have our lighting set up that we have so far. And now we're going to get into doing the door opening for the end and the God rays that will kind of spill out as the doors open. So let's go over into, I'm going to make a single view and let's take a look at our, let's take a look at our still. Uh, so what we want to be able to do is make three different parts. So I'm going to bring this over here to the side and I actually want to copy this, the image plane and the media, paste it and then paste it. The one on top will make the opening and then we'll use left and then right door. Okay, so each one of these will have its own thing. We're gonna have to merge them all together. So I'm gonna take a 3D merge and put it right here. And then we'll merge all of these together. So the first thing we'll do is we need to cut out the doorway. So I'm just gonna grab a rectangle tool, throw it inside here, and then let's take a look. Um, so I wanna cut out the doorway right about there and then we'll bring this in and for now this can be fairly rough and probably leave it a little wide or actually I want to go in a little bit uh, now we can um, just copy this rectangle and paste it and we'll connect it to the next one and this will be our left door so actually before I do that uh, in this media in that we're looking at this one we want to inverse so let's take the rectangle and invert it and that way we have the doors cut out and then this one we want the left door um, so now I can copy that and put it over here and then throw that into the media and this will be the right door I have to look through that one Oops, look through that one. Okay, and then if I look through the Merge 3D, you can see the kind of the gaps. And what we can do is we can go over here on the left side, split the view, and then we can kind of adjust the edges to make sure that they everything lines up. Okay, we still have a little bit of a gap here. Something like that. And then it, with this one here, we can maybe bring in a little bit. So something like that. That's looking pretty good. So I think we got that fairly cleaned up. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is we need to set up the pivot point for the two doors. So for these image planes, probably the easiest way to do this is let's make a single view and let's bring the image plane up. Okay, so now, so what we can do is we can come in here and we can go over to the transform and we have this pivot. We can start by using the pick and just kind of going on here and trying to get it right on that edge as close as we can get it. That looks pretty good. Because we're using these 2D cards, we may see an edge here. We're going to have to deal with that later. But let's get it as close as we can to that edge. And we can just kind of, if you hold down Command, you can, you can drag these a little bit slower. That one looks pretty good. So now let's go to the second one, which is the right door. Go to the transform, open up the pivot. And we want to set it up right about there. And again, you can kind of, holding down command, just line it up as best you can right to that edge. I'm going to double check this one. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we have those pivots set up, you can see what will happen. Uh, for example, this one here. It's the Y rotation. If I start to rotate the Y, you can see now I can pivot that door. All right. So now 
I'm going to go back to the dual view. Let's put our 3D, um, our media out in this one. And then our 3D scene on this side, just so we can kind of see what's going on. And let's come down closer to the end. So we have ninth gate. And where do we want the doors to start to open? Well, we want them fully open by here, I would say. So let's see, like maybe let's start it here and then we'll, we can adjust the animation. So th at 370, uh, both in this image plane, uh, I'm going to close out the keyframes. Uh, in this image plane, we want the Y rotation. Let's hit a keyframe. And on this one, same thing, Y rotation. And then let's go down here, and we want that fully open by somewhere in here. And then let's, so this is the right door. Okay, and we don't need it to go maybe something like that. And the left door. So now we have those doors opening. And then the camera going right through. Okay. I think that looks okay. Let's see what it looks like. We're getting about half speed. Yeah, I mean, I think that's going to be okay. Let's set up the rest of it. So right now, if we look at the renderer, just the renderer, we have this right here. So we have this alpha. Um, you can see we're going to have some issues here because you can see the edge of the door. Uh, we can see if we can fix that. Let's throw this up over here. And so I'm just bringing in the edge there a little bit, so that's going to help. Let's see what happens when the doors open. I'm just checking the alpha because we're going to be using this to promote the god rays. And we don't want any light leak. Uh, and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this. Okay, that looks good. So what we want to be able to do, though, is we want to add some light rays. So let's make a little bit of room down here. So what we can do is use this alpha that we have here to drive the god rays. So what we're going to need to do is, let's see, where the, do the doors open? Right here. Um, so around here. So we're going to need this alpha, and we want that opening to be white. So we're going to use the alpha information from here into a white background. So we're going to have this background. Let's open that up, bring it to pure white, one. And we want the alpha from here to drive the god rays. But the thing is, is we have this black space. If we look at the alpha, we have this black space. So we need something to help us uh, cut off that information. Otherwise, the god rays will be all messed up. We can add, one way we can do this is add a channel boolean and add a rectangle tool. And we only need, really, we're waiting for the center to open up. So if I drop this into the channel booleans, and then in this rectangle, I just invert it. And in the channel boolean, I uh, add. And so as the door comes through, you can see right here, I'm going to have to animate the end of it. So in the rectangle, let's keyframe the width and height. And then just make it go out. And then we're going to use this to go into the, the background. And this is what's going to drive the god rays. So obviously that needs to be the opposite. Um, so in the background, we can go to settings and apply mask inverted, and that's what we're looking for. So now we have, this is our animation for, the, for these god rays or the light rays. So let's add those in. So if I put on light rays, and then we want these light rays to merge back over the top of our final comp. So let's just look at the light rays first. I can make this a single image. You can see there we go. Definitely have to do some settings, move things around, and then we're going to have that merge over the top. In that merge, let's change this to maybe screen. That looks good. And now let's change our settings for these light rays. So inside the light rays, we have a bunch of different options in here. 
Um, let's bring these. I want to bring this off to the edge or something. Let's see. Yeah. Something like that. Make those light, like, shine down at an angle. Length. Now, if you wanted to, we can animate that coming down. So as the camera gets closer, the light kind of starts to come up. Uh, it sort of does naturally with the way that it's going. Uh, it's not too bad. One thing I, I'm not crazy about is it's like a streamed light, almost like there was a fog. So I might want to break that up. One thing I could do is I could use like a noise filter on that alpha and then merge that over. So the one way I could do that is I can grab a fast noise and we're going to go from our alpha into the fast noise. We want the opposite of that. So in the fast noise, we can go to settings, apply fast converted, and now we got this little sliver. So let me just go up here so you can kind of see what's going on. And then we want that to go into the same kind of background. So I'm going to copy that background, paste it here. This is going to go into that background. And we're going to take these light rays and put it through here. I'm just unhook that for a second. Oh, so wait a second. Do I want to do that? Yes, I want that inverted. And then inside the background, turn off the apply mask inverted because we had that set up over here. And now when we look at the light rays, now we have some options we can change in this fast noise. So if you're looking at the fast noise, you can see here, let's bring up the scale, uh, maybe discontinuous. And actually let's look at the light rays. You can see what's happening here. It's a little bit different. Uh, bring up the detail, maybe. Contrast. Oh, there we go. So now you can see the difference. We're getting these kinds of lights. And we could even have it kind of sparkle. So we could add like a seethe rate. And that's going to make it them kind of sparkle a little bit. Kind of like that. Uh, we can do inverted. Let's see what that does. So you can play around with this. You can change that seethe rate so it really sparkles out like that. And don't worry about that pattern. We're going to take care of that. So that, I mean, that looks kind of cool. Uh, let's stay with that for now. And then what we'll do is we'll merge that over this. So we can take the light rays. We're going to merge this over that. Okay, now if we look at this, in this merge, I think... Why don't we do lighten? That will add all the lightest colors. And now we have this. And then we merge that over our final image. So let's see. I mean, we could change the length. I feel like at this point, I'd like to see the length get further. OK, so I mean, I think that that's OK. Um, I still feel like the, the edges really blow out. So now what, one other thing we can do is let's add in a glow uh, right after here. There we go. And that's adding a little bit of... Uh, yeah, that, that seems a little bit more like it. And, and you can play with this, you know. Oops. Oh, that's good to know. So the this is causing a problem at the beginning, all of this business. We know that the animation doesn't start until there. So in that merge, hit the blend at 1 at like 369. Go back to 368 and then turn it off. And then if we go back to the beginning, we don't have to worry about this. Okay, cool. I think everything's looking pretty good. Some other things that we want to do, we definitely, it's too sharp. Uh, we can do some things like, let's add a little bit of blur right after this render. And, and just a little bit of blur. Just to smooth this out. We can also turn on the motion blur. One of the things I noticed is as we go through, you can see this kind of artifacts. And one thing we can do is in the renderer 3D, let's try using the hardware renderer instead. 
And if you get these glitchy things right here, it's because we need to turn up the the anti-aliasing. So we can just hit the low Q rate to two, three, and maybe seven for the high. That's gonna give you much smoother render for this, okay? So that's looking pretty good. The last thing I would do is add, we wanna add the motion blur. As we see that come close up here, we should see a decent amount of motion blur, especially as it gets close to the end. Uh, and we can do that right here in the renderer. So in the settings, turn on motion blur, and that's two. Let's go up here to the top and just kind of see as it goes through. Okay, so that's still, we, they've got a stutter there. Let's go up to four. And at the very end, it's kind of stuttering. So we're right in between kind of four and maybe six. But I think four would, might be enough because most of, I mean, you're not going to notice that. It's only for a couple frames at the end. Why don't we render this out and let's and see if we want to change anything else. Okay, so we just rendered out. Let's see what we got. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, we got a little bit of an issue here at the end. Uh, that's probably because when we turn on the motion blur, we can fix that. I'm also not crazy about these um, these rays. I feel like they should be longer, uh, especially as we get closer here. I want these rays to come way out. So let's try to fix those couple things. But otherwise, I think this looks pretty good. I think the it's tough to watch without the music. I think the music makes a big difference in how this all moves along. We could probably add some more lights in here too, um, but you know that's up to you. So let's fix these couple things, and I think that'll be it. So I'm going to come in here. Now the motion blur one, what we can do is we can just add a separate renderer without motion blur. So let's unhook that. We'll just add another renderer right here and connect that. And that takes care of that. The other thing I wanted to do was kind of fix these rays. So as we start, I mean, I think it looks pretty good, right? at the beginning I think that looks pretty good so maybe we'll keyframe the rays here because I think it looks pretty good there and maybe I'll keyframe the brightness just in case and the position see how this goes so I open up the door and it's somewhere around in here is where I'm just like feel like the ray should be longer Yeah, something more like that. And then we may want to move the center location over if we want. Let me, where is that? Okay, so this is, we may want to bring it more centered so that it's going like this. Maybe. Do we want that? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that looks kind of cool. Let's just do one more render just to see if everything is lining up and how it looks. Okay, so the final render is done. Let's see how this looks. Okay, it looks pretty good. Again, I think more lighting in here might be nice and maybe staggering the lighting off. Okay, and that looks that looks pretty nice. Um, so anyway, I think that's about it. I, again, you could spend a lot more time working on the lighting and the timing, um, but that's the basic setup. I mean, one way of approaching doing the titles for the Ninth Gate inside of Fusion. If you have any questions or problems, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.